My name is Jessica Tibbet, and I will be showing you how to build a interactive PowerPoint game. Um, I'll be showing you how to make Jeopardy. We're going to start off by opening PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Open it up, and we're going to start off by adding a few extra slides just to get started with. We're going to start off with about 10. We're going to need quite a few more than that, but we'll just start off with 10 just to get started. No big deal. To get started, start off, right click, and we're going to hit background. And we're going to hit the scroll bar and more colors. And we're going to click a blue color just because it's Jeopardy and that's the color they use. And you can choose any color you want to, no big deal. Hit OK and apply to all. Then we're going to hit these little text boxes and delete. And we're going to add some word art. Hit this tile box and choose whichever one you'd like. I like this one right here. Hit Jeopardy or click or uh, type Jeopardy. Hit OK. Make it bigger. You can hit this little hit this little round thing here and and okay. Now for the next slide, we're going to make some directions. Get rid of this title text box right here and type in the directions. We're going to make it in white just because it's hard to see black against the blue. And, and then the next slide is going to be your game board slide. This is a little bit more difficult but it's not too terribly bad. You're going to go to auto shapes, basic shapes, and you're going to choose the beveled and you're going to draw it. You can, right now it doesn't matter what size it is. Just, you know, right click and you're going to choose format auto shape. You're going to hit fill color and you're going to come down and you're going to choose the color of the background which you've already picked out earlier by hitting background and the same thing with the line and you're going to hit preview and you can see that it has some definition and gives it a little bit of depth you're going to hit OK you're going to bring it up to the corner and you want about five of these Oops. you're going to you want about five of these in a row so you want you want to make it small enough to where you're going to have five of them and it's easier for me to just hit control C which is control copy and then control V which is paste and move them around oops sorry about that and you can use your arrow keys to also move them around it helps make the control a little bit better there you go and then also that way you don't have to help uh, help make things a little easier so you're not moving each individual one around. If you click one, hold your control key down and then click each of these, you'll hit them all. Right click, copy, and then right click paste. You'll get a whole nother row. That way you're not messing with individual ones. You can do the same thing and you can do this all the way down. Makes it a lot easier. Now we're going to add a text box down here at the bottom. There's a thing called the text box. Click it and then you're going to click and drag. It's going to modify it so it's no big deal. Click it and drag it over the thing. Person, so I'm going to do things over the human body. I'm going to do the bones and I'm going to do one over the digestive system and I'm going to do one over the respiratory system. Now I'm going to do another one over the urinary system. I'm going to do another one over the reproductive. The first one you're going to do, you're going to do this category right here. You're just going to go straight down. So this one would be bones for 100. Your answer and then your next one, so you'd be bones for 100, and it'll be your answer. And then the next one will be bones for 100, and then it'll be question. And an example of this would be like the question would be, or your answer would be the what your students would see. So this is the longest bone in the body. And then your students would have to come up with a question. What is the femur? And that would be worth 100 points. If the next one would be bones for 200. 
and that would also be the answer. Bonesford. Now here comes the fun part. We can go through and we can hyperlink all these. We're going to hyperlink right now. And go to your slides right here. We're going to highlight, right click, hyperlink, go to place in document. And this is where labeling your slides come in handy. This is your question, your answer slide, and this one is your question slide, and you want your answer slide. So you're going to click your very first one, and you get a preview of it right here, and you're going to click OK. And you're going to do the same thing for the rest of them. I mean, you can double click it, and you go to hyperlink, and bones for 200. Double click, which doesn't take very much time at all. If you go through very top, we go down to the very first question slide, and we insert an auto shape. Go to basic shape, a bevel. We just insert it and do the same thing. We go to our format, auto shape, a color, make it the same color as the background, and we put it in the very, very corner. And then we insert auto text, and we make it white, just so it's easier to see. Return. And we hit control, and we click the box. So both of those are selected. We right click it, go to grouping, hit group. So they're both right click, and we hit. Now we're going to hyperlink the question link, the question slides. We're going to click the return boxes, go to right click, hyperlink, and we want to bring it back to our game board, so which is slide number three. Click slide three and hit OK. And the fun part about this is you right click, you copy, and you go to your next question slide, which is two slides down, you control V, and it brings it to the same place, and it's right there two slides down, do the same thing. Control V, two slides down, same thing. Now we're going to do Final Jeopardy. Up here at the very top, after slide two, we're going to enter a new slide. We're going to get rid of this stuff. And we're going to enter some word art. And it's going to say click here for Final Jeopardy. Hit OK. Make it nice, big, and bold. Your students will see it, and you're going to hyperlink it as well. Right click, hyperlink, and you're going to bring it down to the la one of the slides right after you reap your last questions. OK. And you're going to go down to that last slide, which is empty right now. And you're going to put some more word art in there. Make it nice, big, and fancy. Again, you can choose any word art you want to. It makes no difference. It's your, your thing. Final Jeopardy. Make it nice, big, and fancy. Alright, I gotta add two more slides in here. I'm gonna add one more word art. It says make your wager. Add, and if you are playing for points, you can make a point value wager in here. If you're not, no big deal. You don't have to. Make you wager. Oh. I need to learn how to spell. There we go. Again, I like this more compact view. I'm going to get rid of this lower one. and This is the final answer. And this one is the final question. And you put in the final answer and the final question, and and you are finished. And that is how you make a PowerPoint.